Hey guys, it's Kim and Mike from Living the Ground Life and today we are fighting moles. We live in uh, Western Washington, Southwest uh, Western Washington and this time of year, uh, which is December, it's very wet and the ground's very moist and the moles just go crazy. So we are always fighting moles. They go back and forth between our neighbor's property and ours and uh, we have found the best thing that works for us is uh, the trap line traps. And so today we're gonna show you how uh, we use those. So let's go. Hey guys, so uh, picking which hole, you never know which way they're going unless they're, you know, like I got one behind me and one over there. So I'm kind of guessing he's coming this way. So um, I use these inline traps and I'll go over how to set it here when I dig up the hole but first I want to show you guys how to do these so I just pull the dirt away until I find the soft spot which is in the middle you can kind of see the tunnel there and then just you just gotta make enough room for your hand to get in there and of course it poured down rain last night so this is gonna be muddy and just kind of reach your hand in there and you just kind of feel which way the tunnel's going and tells you kind of which way to dig. I've got big hands, so I gotta have a bigger hole. So I found, I use a spoon, I just bend it and you just kind of want to clean the tunnel out. And every hole has two tunnels some have three but now that i've got the tunnel clear and i got room for the trap to get in there the way you set these traps is pretty easy and they're safe too so you just want to put that over that and that's what keeps it from snapping push that forward and then you take the spring and you always want to hold it here not up here spin it around and it's tight and that sucker so the you put that in the hole when the mole trolls through he'll hit this and then you've got him and so we'll go back and reset this one so you can see it a couple times and these are stainless steel traps they don't rust i just leave them in a bucket and they sit outside and Just take the trap and just slide it up the hole. I like to push it up as far as, as far as I can. And I use these strings just because you can see it would be hard to retrieve the trap when you go to check to see if there's a mole without it. So then I just lay that one there. Take my spoon, find the other hole, and then you just kind of put some dirt over the entrance to that hole. Again, here we'll set a trap push it forward hold on to that take the spring wind it and then i like to i like it to be a little trigger happy so i pull it back it's kind of got a sensitivity setting stick that in there oh i hit the top which reminds you why you always hold the trap at the back but i'll wind it back up Maybe not so sensitive that time. We'll set that in there. Get in there as far as you can. And then I just take the dirt, push it back in. And you wanna pack it pretty firm, you know, not super tight, cause you're gonna have to dig it back up again, but you know, enough that there's, when that mold comes up there, that he's gotta push against it pretty hard. And then he'll trigger that trap. And then uh, just bury it all back. And in the summertime when I'm mowing, you know, I'll take all this dirt and I'll, I'll clean it up so it's real nice. And then I just take, and I got a little loop I tie in there. Cause I've actually had a mole a couple times steal my trap. So I put it right through there, put it in there. And uh, now, you know, you can see where your hole is and uh if the mole just gets partially trapped he can't run off with your trap because it's pegged to this 
and then uh, yeah that's kind of how we do that and we'll go over here and I've set a, a couple other traps and uh, we'll see if we've got anything in them so here's the area that Mike set uh, three or four days ago and you can see there's just lots of holes everywhere that have been padded down and he set some traps and um, we haven't seen any new activity so we're going to check them we're hoping that uh we got some right and here's here. zeus zeus are you helping us catch moles zeusy you handsome guy say hi hi everyone on youtube world zeus say hi say hi <laughs> one of our mini french bulldogs there so here's where mike picked up the flag already before we got here but there was a flag here so there's one string there's the other one and he's gonna dig down in the center clear the hole so if we have one we can pull it out oh, so we didn't get one there Is this and that one's unsprung it's, it's unsprung other one. So it it's kind of tight. Well, we didn't get one on that one, but that one has not sprung either. So I'm probably just gonna abandon this hole. And you never want to throw them back in there clipped because you've got to reach back in there and put your hand in the bucket. Have but, you done that before? No. I wasn't sure if that was from experience or uh, safety precaution. Safety precaution, but I love your faith in me, honey. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Seriously, so, so you rolling in the grass? Is there something stinky there? actually sunny at the moment guys it has been just a nasty dreary day Didn't get one there didn't get one there so either he moved on or he's in that hole right there I did pick up a dead mole the other day, so we at least have one dead one. I'm not sure what animal <coughs> took that out for us, but something. a little bugger little that's not little yeah no so you can see his nose tripped that thing and then this pinched him right here and then so to release him just undo the spring and it opens up and you know fortunately for us we live right on the river so they get a little airmail Fish food. We still got one other trap in here, but I doubt there was two in here, but sometimes you can double up. It looks like it got a root branch. Here. <laughs> root there. Root, I I guess that it. one and so that's kind of cool. We got a successful one on video for you. But yeah, that's kind of how that works. And uh yeah, they don't sponsor me, but I've been using their traps for years, and yeah, they work great. And uh, like I say, just set your traps the best you can, and then just, uh, if you don't see any activity for a couple of days, check them. So how do you pick which ones you do? Just, I kind of, you know, the fresher the mole hill, you know, they can tell that's the, where they were last. Mm -hmm. So I go there, and then it's a guessing game where they're going to go next so you just go to whatever their hole was last so if you have a whole bunch of them and you're just starting out you would usually rake them yeah i rake them all flat 
and then wait for new holes wait to come up. Wait for new up. holes, and then you know which holes the hot and, hole. And then you. And I usually set wait for trap. two or three holes, because then you can kind of see which direction he's going. And then I'll go to that last hole, and then I'll go to the other hole. So if he doubles back, then then you'll get. So him. like in this little triangle, we had three, six traps, three three holes. Holes. And you know, and look, this is the one that's a direct path to the neighbor's house, and then they use this fence line here to uh, travel the most so yeah we got them and there and what is it again that you use the traps the trap line trap, trap line. Uh, they, i think the trapline.com is where you get them i just call them trap lines we'll put we'll put a link below um where you can get them and what would you recommend a person like that how many uh, like a 10 set to start oh yeah with? i would get at least six sets so 12 traps 12 traps if you have a bad mopop if you just have one or another you could probably get away with three but you don't always get them right away so i like to set a bunch as you can see it's fun <laughs> all right guys have a great day thanks for uh joining us today look at the river it is extremely muddy it's because of rain this is not how gorgeous our river usually is um we've had a lot a lot of rain and and the, the creeks are dumping into it and it's just just a lot of mud and last night Last night we probably got three or four inches of rain, so it was it was pretty nasty out here. But even with a muddy river, such a beautiful view. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.